Turning back to our forecast now, still a bit of that haze from the West Coast in our air locally. Let's check in with Lonnie Quinn to see how things are shaping up. It'll be much better in terms of that haze that you're talking about and the smoke in our air tomorrow. It, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, air quality is going to be much better. What I see right now, that picture right there shows you a clear sky overhead, 75 degrees. High temperature today was 86, just about average for this time of the year. Really no rain in Manhattan. We picked up five one hundredths of an inch next to nothing. JFK picked up three quarters of an inch, but the big rain today, the Jersey Shore, portions of Ocean County picked up over two and a half inches of rain. They had hail, they had winds gusting over 50 miles per hour. That was the worst weather in our area. Well, that weather all associated with that front now well offshore. Don't see any problems brewing for your day tomorrow. High pressure takes over. The winds circulating around that high coming in from the north, so that's pushing in a cooler air mass depicted here by the green color as opposed to those reds, those oranges south and west of us. That's our air mass for tomorrow. But notice again where it's coming in from. It's coming in from the north as opposed to coming in from the west. Out west is where the wildfires are. So again, that, that smoke element in our air should be just about a race tomorrow. Now, it's not gone entirely. This makes sense, doesn't it? Because well, the fires are still burning. And our jet stream flows basically from west to east. So we're going to see a semblance, some smoke as you push through the few day, a few days. Now, you can tell it's been pushed out of our area by that front, bringing in the more refreshing air. But you look at Friday, 8 a.m., little band of smoke possibly way down by southern Jersey, close to Cape May, right? And then you get into your weekend. Saturday looks pretty good, but by Sunday, a little shift in the wind. I'm not saying anything like what we dealt with yesterday, but I do think there's going to be a little quotient of that smoke in the air. That's Sunday, 1030 in the morning, and Sunday is also going to give you a a uh, better chance for some rain. So here's how I see everything stacking up. It's just a much better day for Thursday. I think you're really going to enjoy it. The haze is a little pesky in our air. I'll show you that as well. I just showed you that a moment ago. But it's mainly dry throughout your day tomorrow, through Friday, through Saturday. Sunday and Monday give you a little bit of a rain chance. But really, next week looks mostly dry as well. Look at the numbers. Here on the board, we're going to go 83 tomorrow, 83 Friday, 83 Saturday. A nice run of weather there, maybe 84 on Saturday. Sunday, you're 86. We introduce a rain chance for Sunday and Monday. Doesn't look like it's anything outrageous like what we had this week. Tuesday and Wednesday, upper 80s, and the sun is out. So. You know, we've been saying this for, you know, <laughs> a couple of times today about how this time of the year where you typically get that heat and mugginess combined that triggers the storms, I just don't see a lot of it right there. I see some, but it's a little bit. Well, we've had a lot of it. Oh, KJ, so. we've had more rain than we don't know what to do with it. It's like worse than spring. It's the fourth wettest July ever, and, and I bet you we will end up as, a, as probably the third, maybe the second one. I think it's number one. I'm just saying. Oh, you know. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Okay. Thanks, Mike.